from the News Channel 5 Network, this is Morning Line with Nick Barris. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Morning Line. Nick Barris here on this Monday. I hope you had a pleasant weekend and, and maybe you're enjoying some of the rain that we uh, started getting last night into today. Boy, didn't we need it and hopefully it'll cool things off. So sit back, don't head out into the rain and join in the conversation this morning. We've got a good show on tap. We're coming to you not only on the plus right now as you're watching us and uh, you know, use channel 5, 250, whatever cable system you're on, but we're also streaming live this morning on Facebook at uh, newschannel5.com so you can uh, message comments there and I'll share it with our guest. If you've been paying attention, of course, um, our News Channel 5 uh, investigates team does a number of, uh, you know, very, very important stories o over the years. And uh, the latest one with um, our chief investigative reporter revealed, as you've seen, looking at uh, the controversy over um, Governor Lee, along with uh, the question of charter schools, along with the question of Dr. Larry Arn from Michigan's Hillsdale College. We're going to get into all of that and show you some of the stories, but we're going to talk with News Channel 5's chief investigative reporter who has put these stories together, and there are more to come, and that, of course, is Phil Williams. Good morning, uh, you, sir. Good morning. I come bearing coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, there's few people I know on the planet who love coffee more than Phil Williams, and this was very nice of you. Well, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. Well, I'm going to be wired for the day. I uh, hope, hope viewers will <laughs> grab a cup and join us. for <laughs> Exactly. This is a good one for the next hour. Join us. Uh, Phil, thank you for coming on this morning, and uh, I know just how busy you are. Um, we're going to show some of the stories, including the original one, but uh, can you give us just a little bit of uh, background? Um, again, the revealed investigation, how these things work, and then how you got onto this story and, and, and you know, what led you to it? Well, th this really began in January with the, the governor's state of the state where he announced what he called a partnership uh, with Hillsdale College. It's a very conservative uh, Christian college in, uh, out of Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, and the partnership, he had invited them to set up at least 50, maybe 100 charter schools across the state. Now, charter schools are privately operated schools, but you know they get taxpayer money, so they have to follow certain you know, rules uh, of the mm -hmm. State Board of Education, that type of thing, but, but they're privately operated. Uh, and he said that setting up these Hillsdale College charter schools would allow uh, students to be taught what he called informed patriotism, uh, basically emphasizing what's good about America, de-emphasizing what's bad about America. Uh, and, uh, and, and so this was a big part of his State of the State address back in January of, uh, of this year. Um, immediately after that, we started looking at, okay, so what does this informed patriotism mean? Uh, and you know, one of the early stories that we did was that uh, Hillsdale has something they call the 1776 curriculum. Uh, it uh, came out of uh, what was called the 1776 Commission appointed by former President Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Larry Arn, the president of Hillsdale, had chaired that commission. And, and one of the things that really jumped out at me as I looked at it was it taught students, or it teaches students, that the civil rights movement was not necessarily a good thing. Okay. That it had some good ideas with it, but it, qu according to the curriculum, quickly ran afoul of what the founders had intended. Hmm. Uh, that Dr. King, it, it teaches students, Dr. King really didn't favor laws to end discrimination. He was wanting to just use the power of persuasion, which is categorically false because Dr. King taught about the importance of civil rights laws. Mm -hmm. He he lobbied for civil rights laws. And so, you know, on its face, they were teaching some students something that was just false about the civil rights movement. And then on top of that, they taught that laws against discrimination, laws opening up the lunch counters in, in Nashville, Tennessee, for example, mm -hmm. though that was where Go government coercion began to interfere with private conscience. In other words, these business owners, these racist business owners had a right mm -hmm. to, a constitutional right to associate mm -hmm. with white people only if that's what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. and, and so that really 
got our attention, and we did some story, a couple of stories about that. But then uh, Dr. Arn came into Nashville back in June. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, communicated with a source who had an invitation, and the, the source agreed to uh, get provide video. And by the way, when you did so, you had no idea what was going to be said at this. You just thought, we'd like to see what Dr. Arn has to say when he's meeting with the governor at this closed door private right. gathering. Because w what, what we have found in politics, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Democrat, Republican. People tend to say one thing publicly, sure. but sometimes there's another thing that's said privately. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we've seen all sorts of you know audio and video come oh, out over yeah. the years from various presidential candidates, for example. Uh, and so we wanted to know what are they saying behind closed doors? Mm -hmm. What are they saying when they don't think that anyone except their own is listening? And so that's what led to this first story. And so you were able to arrange to get this video, mm -hmm. and then the video was returned to you, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna look it over. How long was the uh, the gathering, the, the video that you got? About uh, an hour, 45 minutes or so. Uh, okay. And uh, honestly, you know, the, when I first looked at it, I thought, you know, this is some pretty provocative stuff. Mm -hmm. I had no idea the fallout that would occur, just the outrage that would echo from from Memphis to Mountain City, as they say, all across the state. Oh, because I, I was wondering what your reaction was, because uh, you're going to see it in a moment here, but when I saw it, and I can imagine you seeing it for the first time, went, really? Because, I mean, boy, that was some pretty powerful stuff. The moment I saw that, I thought, boy, teachers aren't going to like this. And, and before people watch this, yes. I, I think it's important to know, before this story aired, I sent a request to the governor's office and said, here's what we're going to report. I really think the governor ought to go on camera mm -hmm. and give his side of this because this is pretty explosive stuff. And they declined, as you'll see in the story. All right. We'll talk much more. We have that first story. This is the very first one with regard to the video that you obtained. Um, sit back and watch, and we'll come back, and we will talk with the reporter who put this together. Our investigation is about to take you behind closed doors into a world where public education and public school teachers are openly ridiculed. You will see how education destroys generations of people. It's devastating. It's, it's, like, it's like a plague. This event, an invitation-only reception hosted by Dr. Larry Arn, the president of Michigan's conservative Hillsdale College, his surprise guest, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee. For decades, Hillsdale College has been a standard bearer in quality curriculum and in the responsibility of preserving American liberty. Earlier this year, Lee announced a partnership with Hillsdale to use Tennesseans' tax dollars to set up 50 privately operated charter schools across the state. I still think we need 100 charter schools. <laughs> Among the audience, at least one longtime advocate for privatizing Tennessee's public schools, along with a guest who was secretly recording and who provided that recording to News Channel 5 Investigates. It was an audience that found humor as the Hillsdale president mocked teachers who have education degrees. If you work in a college, you'll know this, unless you work in the ed department. Ours is different, but uh, they're the dumbest part of every college. <laughs> He just called teachers the most ignorant people on a college campus, and they laughed. It was a statement that shocked a former teacher, now a Democratic lawmaker. I am absolutely fabricated by this. Along with a longtime conservative who now lobbies Capitol Hill for Tennessee teachers. I mean, it's an insult to the students that go through colleges of education. It's an insult to the professors and the people who teach um, our, our educators. And they're messing with people's children. And they feel entitled to do anything to them. It was a theme to which Arn returned with a governor sitting at his side. The teachers are trained in the dumbest parts of the dumbest colleges in the country. And they're taught that they're going to go and do something to those kids. He says teachers come from the dumbest parts of, of the, the dumbest, dumbest colleges. colleges. And the governor is sitting here? while this is happening, saying nothing. The problem is not so much 
that Larry Arn would say this. He's got an agenda, and he's certainly pushing that. But what really is the problem here is that our governor stood there and let this be said about the people who are educating. And the administrators you hire are all diversity people. And that helps you, by the way, with your federal requirements that you have a certain number by co color. And Arn, who sparked controversy nearly a decade ago before the Michigan legislature when he addressed his own school's diversity efforts. We violated the uh, standards for diversity because we didn't have enough dark ones, I guess is what they meant. Here. Argued here that the push for diversity in higher education has led to more people with education degrees. And now, because they're uh, appointing all these diversity officers, what are their degrees in? Education. It's easy. You don't have to know anything. And essentially he's saying diversity candidates are not smart enough to get real degrees. Yes. That's exactly what he said. The governor sat there and did not um, correct it. You know, you would see if, if this would continue on, I mean, where would he go? Where would he get up and walk out? The, the philosophic understanding at the heart of modern education is in slavery. And we have to break out of that. As our investigation previously revealed, Hillsdale's 1776 curriculum teaches kids that conservative ideas are what the nation's founders intended, that democratic or progressive ideas are not. Progress that is definitely being made. On the black struggle for equality, Hillsdale teaches the civil rights movement was almost immediately turned into programs that ran counter to the lofty ideals of the founders. <laughs> In federal laws opening up lunch counters and outlawing discrimination in restaurants, hotels, and theaters, Hillsdale says this was where the line between private conscience and government coercion began to blur. Have you read the Would Hillsdale okay curriculum? The governor had tried to sidestep those questions, but here behind closed doors, Lee had nothing but praise for Hillsdale's vision. As a vision for educating children in this state that I believe is a vision that Tennessee will embrace. As for the charter schools they hope to establish across Tennessee, Arn insisted finding qualified teachers is the least of his concerns. And here's a key thing that we're going to try to do. We're going to try to demonstrate that you don't have to be an expert to educate a child. Because basically anybody can do it. And I think the governor again should have said, I disagree with that. Does the governor think anybody can be a teacher? He needs to answer that question. Asked about Arn's comments, Lee's press office issued a statement saying that under Governor Lee, the future of public education looks like well-paid teachers and growing a workforce to support our students and build a profession. So what about this? The teachers are trained in the dumbest parts of the dumbest colleges in the country. Just like the governor, the statement was completely silent on those comments. It boggles the mind that someone could be so evil and so ignorant at the same time and so cowardly as to say nothing and not stand up for a single Tennessee child or a Tennessee teacher. All right, and Phil, as you said, um, reaction to this has been widespread and pretty much bipartisan. It's one of these rare issues, it appears, that both Republicans and Democrats have, uh, have reacted to. Uh, absolutely. Uh, in fact, some of the most conservative members of the legislature, uh, Senator Frank Nicely, uh, tweeted out that he doesn't often agree with my reporting, uh, but this one is just clear it's flat wrong. And, and yeah. that's a pretty good example of the reaction that we received you know, Democrat and Republican just equally outraged. We'll take a break on that note when we come back. We can take a few phone calls. We have comments here on Facebook that we'll address as well, as uh, we also expect we'll show at least another one or two of your stories uh, to give you some background on what we're talking about this morning. But back, more of our conversation with News Channel 5's chief investigative reporter in his latest investigation right after this. Stay with us.